Hello and welcome to the 39th tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at navbar brand images. We'll be using the source code from the 38th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. We have a navbar setup. Bootstrap provides a way to include a brand image, which is essentially the website logo, which when usually clicked, redirects to the homepage. Obviously you can make it do whatever you want. You can make it do an animation, spin using some sort of jar, jump in jQuery. You can make it redirect to Google, even if your website isn't Google. You could make it not do anything at all. That's totally up to you. So let's go ahead and open up our index file. It's, it is actually really, really simple to implement. If we just scroll down, we already have part of it here. So if we zoom in, we have a anchor tag, class, navbar brand, and it says brand inside. Inside here is where we're going to be pouring our image. So we can just get rid of brand. And what we're going to do is put an image inside here. So image ID equals brand image. I'm going to put an old tag and I'm just going to put website, no weeb, website logo. Then I'm going to put a source and for the source, what I'm going to put is actually get a link of an image of the internet. I'm going to go to TechCrunch. The logo is simple and easy to guess. I can just right click, copy image URL, go back to Sublime. And now in the source, we just paste it in there. And once we've added our image that we want, it's really simple, we just close it off. And what we're gonna do, we're also going to add a href as well, so it navigates to a particular website. So I'm gonna put HTTP, colon, forward slash, forward slash, www dot, I think I said two w instead of three w, so it's www.techcrunch.com. And now what we're ready to do is actually run this in our web browser. So if we click index.html, it runs. But you might think that the TechCrunch or the, the brand image is big. And that's because it's displayed it in its original size. So if this was literally two pixels, then it would only display it as two pixels. And if, it, if this was, I don't know, really big so it couldn't even fit on the web, page and they wouldn't fit on the web page. So what we need to do is actually add some styling, hence why we added the ID brand image right here. And we're just gonna simply set the height and you'll keep the aspect ratio by only setting the height or the width. So what I'm gonna do is hash brand image. I'm gonna try a height of 50 pixels, see how that looks. And now let's go back to our web browser, refresh. It's getting better, but it's still a little too big, so I'm going to try 35 now. Save it, and then if we go back to our web browser, refresh. Almost there, I'm going to try 25 pixels, and I believe that we're all good to go. There you go, we have a brand image. It looks neat, it looks like it fits inside the navbar, and if we resize it adjusts accordingly, or the navbar, just accordingly none of these items overlap if this logo let's say was a lot wider so we came up to here the other items will be moved over so they're not overlapping the brand image in the next tutorial we'll cover navbar text if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk all the required source code will be in the description to see hundreds of more videos like this one completely free visit sonarlearning.co.uk and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day